Good morning, USC. I'm Anna King. I'm Phoebe Murray. And I'm Ward Jollis. Coming up this morning, a shooting in California left 13 people dead and more injured. We have the latest details. And protesters rallied in front of the South Carolina State House last night. We have their reason for protesting. And later, we'll have a look at your latest weather for the Midlands and your forecast for the weekend. And rumors of a Breaking Bad movie have fans on the edge of their seats. All of that and more coming your way on Friday Morning Live. Live from the Kennedy Greenhouse Studio. Feel good. Feel informed. Feel Friday. This is Friday Morning Live. Thursday, a U.S. appeals court blocked Trump from immediately ending the DACA program. This program is what is protecting over 600,000 unauthorized immigrants who were brought to the United States illegally as children. The appeals court ruling has not completely changed anything as the case is now set to move to the Supreme Court where they could, in fact, overrule the appeals court and end DACA. The Supreme Court will have their ruling on the case next spring. Late Wednesday night, there was another shooting in Thousand Oaks, California at the Borderline Bar and Grill. The gunman killed 13 people, including himself, and at least a dozen people were injured trying to flee the bar. Among the victims was a college student and a Ventura County Sheriff's deputy. The 28-year-old former Marine veteran, Ian David Long, was reported to have visited the site of the shooting often. The Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office has deployed victim services personnel to assist survivors and families of shooting victims. Also, hundreds of people have even donated blood in an effort to help the community in any way. Our thoughts and prayers go out to all the victims and their families. Thursday evening, protesters gathered near the South Carolina State House in protest against President Trump, allegedly violating the independence of the Robert Mueller investigation. Recently, Acting Attorney, Attorney General Matt Whitaker replaced Rod Rosenstein as a Mueller's boss on the investigation. Critics of the decision say this allowed President Trump to undercut the investigation. The protesters were demanding Whitaker, because of his ties with the Trump administration, not assume supervision of the investigation. Craft Axe Throwing, an up-and-coming entertainment concept, is coming soon to downtown Columbia. For $20 an hour per person, Craft Axe Throwing offers both casual games and competitive leagues of axe throwing. Similar to a darts bar, there will be 14 axe throwing lanes accommodating parties of four. In the past year, Charlotte, Durham, and Greenville have welcomed the Carolina's first axe throwing bars. The axe throwing and beer serving location is opening as early as December at 700 Jure Street, which formerly was the Vista Keys Dueling Piano Bar. Want to know more about the events happening on campus? Watch this week's episode of SGTV's Carolina Calendar. How's it going, Carolina? I'm Hannah Perella. And I'm Ward Jollis, and this is Carolina Calendar. It's your campus, your week, and this is what's going on. For the 34th year, the University of South Carolina and Clemson University are taking their rivalry off the field in a competition to help save lives. All presenting blood donors will receive a commemorative blood battle t-shirt and be treated to free food. Help the Gamecocks beat the Tigers by donating blood. Come on out to the Clemson Carolina Blood Drive on November 12th through the 16th in the Russell House or on Green Street. The price is free. Pet a pup with pals on Tuesday from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. in the Russell House patio. The price is free. Come pet away your worry and stress with service dogs in training. Pet a pals pup and learn about other programs being offered by Healthy Campus Initiatives. This Thursday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. there will be an international bazaar on Green Street. Price of admission is free and come out to celebrate cultures from around the world with dancing, music, food, and creative displays. International students are also encouraged to come and host a table display. Longstreet Theater was built as a chapel and has been used as a hospital, gym, and classroom building. But now, the USC Theater Department uses the building to put on shows every semester. Thanks guys, I'm SGTV News 4 reporter Kellyanne and I'm here outside of Longstreet Theater. And let me tell you, they have a great show for you this weekend, Platinov. 
Come see how a school teacher deals with alcohol and love while navigating a tangled web of lies. Now you can see the show from November 9th to November 17th and tickets start at $15. For SGTV News 4, I'm Kellyanne. Back to you. Thanks, Kelly Ann. And remember, you can always stay up to date on what's happening around USC by following us on Twitter at SGTV News 4. Come on out to the Russell House Theater this weekend from Friday to Sunday, where the movies that will be showing are Deadpool 2 and The Meg. The price is free with your Carolina card. There's a lot of great USC sporting events going on this weekend, kicking it off with men's basketball at 7 p.m. on Tuesday at the Colonial Life Arena, where our Gamecocks will be facing off against Norfolk State. And then on Saturday, the Gamecock football team will face off with Florida in Gainesville in their new game. For complete coverage and highlights of all Gamecock athletics, be sure to check out SGTV's Capital City Sports. And for coverage of news happening on your campus and around the world, be sure to tune in for News 4's Monday Night Mashup and Friday Morning Live. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Ward Jollis. And I'm Hannah Perala. We hope to see you again next Friday. But until then, be sure to check into Facebook for videos uploaded throughout the week. See you next time, Carolina. So earlier this week, actually, while Hannah Perel and I were filming that episode of Carolina Calendar on the Horseshoe, we saw President Pastides walking down the Horseshoe, and we decided to ask him over and ask him a few questions. So take a look. Oh, look, here's Pastides. Pas like hey, Pastides is coming. <laughs> All right, yeah, well. This is fun because I can't prepare my <laughs> responses. Wow, President Pastides, um, how you been doing today? It's great. It's five o'clock. I still have a dinner meeting and a meeting uh, thereafter, but for now it's five o'clock and I'm so happy. Really? Wow. Um, how do you think the Gamecock basketball season is looking right now? Well, I went to the game yesterday from the men's side and it was uh, uh, quite emotional for the Martin family. Coach Martin uh, was opposing his son, Brandon Martin, playing for USC Upstate. I'm awfully glad we won, uh, but I didn't want to beat them by too much. And as for the women, I haven't seen them this year, but I'm very excited to, to do that. All right, awesome. Got a positive outlook? Oh, yeah. Well, of course, going to the Final Four, men's that's and was, women. That's what I'm saying. Well, why, why, why not predict that? Because it may happen, and if it doesn't, I'm still a good, you know, a good fan. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you very much for coming out for us. Good morning, Carolina, and happy Friday, or should I say dreary Friday out there today. It's quite rainy for this time of year. Let's take a look at your weather forecast across the country right now. As you can see, we're around 80 in the southwest, 80 in Los Angeles and Phoenix, 69 in San Francisco, 46 in Seattle, and 49 in Boise. But look up there at Minneapolis, 26. That's quite a low temperature for this time of year, but you know, it's about that time where those temperatures are gonna start dropping up north. Now let's take a look down in the southeast where we're at, 60 in Atlanta, 73 in Columbia, and 52 in Washington, 53 in New York. So pretty, pretty average temperatures for this time of year, a little bit colder than it was last week. Let's take a look at how the Midlands are looking right now. You can see 54 up in Greenville, 74 in Charleston. That really big disparity there is because there's this cold front coming in from the northwest. It's going to cause that drastic change in temperatures for your weekend. We're at 65 in Columbia, 64 in Aiken, and 69 in Orangeburg. So, you know, obviously pretty, pretty wild temperatures in South Carolina right now. Let's take a look at how the weekend is looking for you. You can probably tell up there it's looking not so great this morning. I put some PM showers there. We're at a high of 65 for today. But you can probably see that dreary weather is moving in already. But the heaviest of that rain is going to come later today. I'd say probably around 3 or 6 o'clock. But that's going to make some room for a beautiful weekend. Again, we are at 59 and 56 on your Saturday and Sunday. But look at that low temperature on Saturday night, 34 degrees. That temperature is going to start dropping and dropping, and we might actually have your first frost for your winter. And then once that moves out on Monday, the rain is going to come back again, 56 on Monday with a low of 52. That's all I have for you guys today. I'm going to throw it back over to Phoebe and Anna. <laughs>
Columbia's Holiday Ice, previously Main Street Ice, is set to open on Thanksgiving Day at a new location. This new location will be at the Columbiana Mall in the parking lot across from Dave & Buster's. The rink will remain open until January 21st, and tickets will be $8 on opening day. Regular ticket prices will be $10. Hours of operation will be announced soon. Earlier this week, Barstool Sports tweeted that a Breaking Bad movie is apparently in the works, and the series star Brian Cranston appeared on Wednesday's episode of The Dan Patrick Show and confirmed the rumors. The hit AMC crime drama about alien teacher turned drug dealer Walter White ran from 2008 to 2013. According to The Hollywood Reporter, it's unclear as to whether the film will be for the big screen or television. Regardless, Cranston sounds as excited about the, about the movie as fans do. Thank you for tuning in to Friday Morning Live. Be sure to watch every week from our Facebook page live Friday mornings at 9.30 a.m. Also, be sure to follow SGTV News 4 on Twitter. See you next week, Carolina. Forever to thee.